Well, fall is approaching, and thank you for many of the well wishes for Pierre's arm. It is recovering. And so we're going off sailing with two friends this weekend. And this video is going to be about a trip to Salem that we took in the spring. Salem is the ultimate Halloween town. And also a view of some pumpkins around Charlestown as I take a last walk around with Tiller before we leave. Enjoy! In April, the harbor was full of jellyfish. There were young ducks everywhere. We decided to take a trip to Salem. Salem is famous for accusations of witchcraft in 1692 and 1693 when Salem was a rural Puritan community. The community was tense from a recent smallpox epidemic, from fears of attacks from Native American tribes, and hysteria set in. A group of young girls claimed to be possessed by the devil and accused local women of witchcraft. A wave of hysteria started in the town and a special court was convened. 19 people were hanged. Now, during Halloween, Salem has become a destination, although this year, they're urging people to stay away because of COVID. Two dock neighbors are coming with us to Rhode Island. Peter of sailing vessel Penango and Ivan, pronounced Devon the Spanish way, from sailing vessel Baloo. That's got to be cold. Actually, it's not that bad. Killer, <laughs> <laughs> come! That wasn't too bad. Plus the one in the shaft, the cutter. Who is yeah. that? It was still, there was still plenty of things. What were you doing down there? I was just changing the things. Um, this boat um, goes through things pretty quickly. So used to. At, it used to. So at oh, the beginning, what, you changed something? At the beginning of the summer, I, I went through the whole electric and there were a lot of things that from factory weren't, weren't wired properly. It was the, the neutral and the ground were bonded somewhere in the in inside the boat which it shouldn't so we were going through zings like at least three or four through season so i changed the things at the beginning of the season i fixed the electric and now i still have i still have plenty of zinc here i changed it just because um we are gonna leave the boat and i don't know how long it's gonna be i don't want to risk it during the winter it's very cold and today is perfect so yeah but yeah i'm happy that that i still have like pretty much all the zinc here Here you see this guy luffing his jib. 
So the flag is Charleston? Yep. Why do they have their own flag? Uh, because uh, we were the first major battle of the Revolutionary War. Well, yeah. So this is the part of the video that I'm making where I should probably tell you what's going on. Well, Pierre and I have a rule. When there's three things that are not going your way, time to reconsider. We have three things going on. COVID, some family issues, and now Pierre's arm. So what's going on is our two dock neighbors are going to help us ferry the boat to Rhode Island. We're going to have it hauled out and winterized. Sad, but the best decision for us right now. So let's continue and watch as we get ready for our sail. And we had a fabulous sail. To Rhode Island as you're going to see in this video and the next one to come. You're also going to see that we didn't need to use our stay sail on two reefs and I couldn't hold Pierre down. He was still up there working the sails. You're putting you on to work right away. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well that's the best way to learn the boat. We usually put the dagger boards down even if there's no wind. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Realize I can see through the windows. <laughs> Oh, they're tacking. They're gonna put up the Jennifer 
No, the code D when we turn the corner. so it doesn't hit the crossbar. Yeah. That's enough, right? Eh? Uh, he's still going. It's all right. It's good, Kim. <laughs> you have to be very tall. Going. Step on that uh, plastic. I have to step actually right in the bag. Use your bundle. Just do this. My arm just isn't long enough. Here we go. Watch out, Tiller. Coming through. <laughs> you stand up on this red chair? Oh, yeah. yeah. How about that? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. That's the ledge. Yep. And Peter's therapy. <laughs> Even in the winter, I guess, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. No sooner than we got the code D up and the wind died. In these North Atlantic waters, if you're going over six or seven knots, you're not likely to catch fish. Maybe because the water's murky, maybe because the water is cold. So when the wind had died, it was a good time to catch fish. And Yvonne knows how to catch stripers. So we are filming this time. Oh, it's all ready. It's, oh, that's right. We have one ready. Yeah. But you can change it if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Yvonne, you're the expert fisherman in the Northeast. I've never, never caught a striped bass. No? Lots of, I caught lots of fish in the Caribbean. Nothing in North Atlantic. All right. So we have that one without any weight. There's no weight. So that's going to be shallow. Probably going to, going to be skipping the water because we are going at 8 knots. So. I feel. Yeah. That sounds about good. Okay. In this one we have pencil, a plug, plug. We have hooks only on the last one to the weight. And also the, the line is four. And how deep are you going to go? So we have the weight and then I have a 25 feet of leader. And then this line is, is core. It has, um, has lead, sorry, it's leaded. So it's heavier. Probably we'll go down what like 15, 25 feet, depending on how fast we go. They're going pretty fast, so we might not put it too deep. Well, we're in the midst of getting the fishing rods rigged, the wind came up again. Uh oh, now we're going too fast. Oh. 
The wind was fickle on this trip, so we were constantly changing sails as we headed towards Cape Cod Canal. And I look forward to showing you the rest of our trip in the next video, and I have lots of content to come over the winter. Additional repairs we did over the summer, and getting a boat ready for haul out, as well as discussions of best downwind sails. And the most important discussion is how do you prepare to leave it all behind and take off to go sailing.